I find the process of making things and those that make them fascinating. I'm romantic about the ways of the past, especially techniques that haven't changed for thousands of years. It just feels important to me to keep looking back as the world spins madly forward. John O'Smart is a potter based in Glasgow. Over a fairly short time, he's amassed an avid following with his attention to detail and beautifully bold, minimal approach to pottery. I've never been more mesmerized by watching someone's process. It feels almost like time is slowing down, dictated by the turning of the potter's wheel. Yeah, so I've only been a potter for the last uh, three years. It was a hobby that uh, quickly became my profession, which was very fortunate. Before that, I worked in garden design, so sort of traveling around the world, designing gardens, having them installed. Um, but this is a much more stable, slow way of living, making my own pots and uh, sending them out to people all over the world. It's, it's the slowness that intrigues me, and especially kind of in today's zany, crazy world, or what's it, what appears to me to be a kind of crazy world, and watching you uh, throw the, the pots. Just it, one of the most hypnotic things I've ever, yeah. I've ever seen, potentially. It was just, I was just in a trance. and. Um, I mean, is that something you feel when you're doing it, that you, that you really kind of, sort of things melt away and you're just... Completely, yeah, you're in, a, you're in a zone where time passes very quickly, very casually, very gently, and um, it's a very controlled way of life. It's, you're very controlled in the sort of small scale of in between your fingers, how you're making the pot, but you're also very controlled within the day in that it's just me by myself here, choosing what to make, choosing my own routine, choosing what time I start work, what time I end work, and... Uh, yeah, choosing the actual pieces I'm making, so it's just a very controlled, steady way of living. The forms are a starting point where I can then layer sort of tone or colour or texture onto mm -hmm. and they give me a sort of canvas that I can then experiment with. So I'm not too worried about changing the forms at the moment. I know that for the next six months I'm going to be making this shape. You're confident in the shapes because they are so sort of iconic and, cl and, and classic and yeah. sort of tre tested because I, I don't know, that, that, hearing you say that kind of just brought to mind you know, a kind of musical approach that maybe I, I have. My favourite kind of music is the classic, like simple and to the point and kind of, it's almost like a, it's almost like the same thing of just this bold shape. Definitely with this album that I'm putting out, that applies more so than ever where, when we were recording it, it was just about trying to find these little embellishments and little things that just, that would not, would not take away from, yeah. you know, the foundation and would just, Pairing it back may seem like a simple thing to do, yeah. but actually, you know, there's a lot of complexity in, in thought and... It's, 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 that's exactly what I was going to say. It's really when you start to notice the skill and the talent is when there's not much there. The less yeah. there is, you have to get every single thing you put into it yeah. right. Yeah. Otherwise, you're talking about my, my, my music. Exactly. If you need me to write on the back of the album cover, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> No way. 